K Black in the building, man. Here with a quick video. Let's make the big fights now. Do not prolong them, man. You know, um, no fights at this magnitude, at this moment. If you have a title, no fights need to marinate, man. If two guys want to fight, you know, put them in the ring with one another. Especially if the title's on the line, unification, even undisputed, which is rare these days. You know what I mean? Uh, you really even see unification bouts. And un being undisputed is, you know, basically, it, that's out of the question. Because a lot of people just, they don't want to do that, man. But we we had a day and age now that um, you can put two title holders against one another. And as they doing the press conference and all that, that's the marinating right there, man. Selling a fight. You don't have to build a fight for six months and then, or a year or even longer and then fight one another. Because when you do all of that, bullshit happens. We just witnessed this last night with Jamel Charlo. Him and Jared Hurd should have been fighting. I know Hurd got an uh, injury or whatever the case and he wanted to do a tune up and even you know after he got his tune up earlier this month he wanted to get another one and then possibly fight Jamel but now with all the bullshit just happened last night Jamel Charlo in my opinion getting robbed I mean dude that, that you know <laughs> that was just a blatant robbery but if those guys heard and Jamel Charlo would have fought from the jump, this wouldn't even took place, man. Honestly, heard uh fight and I know people get injured, they want to get a tune over, test things out. And I understand that, but honestly, bro, her should have been fighting Charlo early this year, man. I mean not early this year, but uh early this month. When that fight that was on pay per view for uh, Wilder and, and Tyson Fury Honestly, Heard and Charlo should have been fighting on that undercard, man. Or a co-main event or whatever uh, however they want to uh, classify it. They should have been fighting. They should have been three titles on the line. And we, uh, the victor would have had three of the uh, major titles in the uh, 154-pound division. And we wouldn't even be talking about this right now. Now, Jamel Charlo got to go to the drawing board. I know he says it's a rematch clause. And I know uh, Heard want to fight another fight. I think Julian Williams think he's supposed to be fighting him next year. So, if Hurry get past Williams and Charlo get his belt back from uh, Harrison, hopefully they fight uh, next year sometime. But we don't know that for sure. We don't know what the fuck going to happen. These guys can get injured. Anything can happen. And let's talk about Wilder and Fury. Perfect example. That's how you know what Wilder and Joshua needed to happen, man. In my opinion... It was a close fight between Fury and Wilder. Don't get me wrong. Good heavyweight bout. And in the 12th round, we know Fury made it to his feet. But to me, I believe he was knocked out cold. The referee didn't wave the hand. It, it is what it is. But even with that, it's a draw. But imagine if the referees, not the referees, I'm sorry, the judges, would have swung it for Fury. Yes, Fury and Joshua could have fallen like an all UK belt. You know, they would have been okay, you know, for them. But the fights people want to see right now is Joshua and Wilder. Just like people want to see her and Jamel Charlo. Even Jamal. Jamal, you got to, bro. The, the, the time is of the essence. You got to fight the Andros, the Jacobs, the Triple G's. And the Canelo's right now. And I know those guys got to be not reluctant to fight you. Because it, it takes two to tango. Because the the way the more you wait, the more you prolong, you don't know what the hell going to happen in between these fights, man. With the bullshit ass scoring from judges, with the interference from referees, even, um, you know, even... Just the, the whole state of boxing, just the, the politics of boxing, everything is just all fucked up, man. So if you 
we, we don't know what we're going to get once, once two people, uh, two combatants get in the ring, man. The same with Earl, uh, Terrence Crawford, Porter, as well as, uh, uh, you know, Thurman, man. Thurman been gone almost two years. He fight in January, man. How about Jose, how about, how about Lopez get him? Jose, how about Jose Lito Lopez get uh, Thurman? Not because he's a better boxer, but just because Thurman been on the ring for so damn long. How about that happen? And then he gonna have to get a rematch. All this shit gonna be more prolonged than what it, than what it is supposed to be, man. So fuck waiting, talking about later on in the year and all, later on next year and all that bullshit. Y'all gotta fight now, man. If not, eventually, the same thing that happened to Jamel Charlo is gonna happen to y'all. You know, unfortunately, that's the state of boxing. Uh, also, um, I know some people be like, well, you don't want to leave it in the judge's hands. Listen, if a guy, I'll box the other guy. Fuck all that, man. If he deserved a victory, he deserved a victory. All that biases should be uh, out the window. This is how it is, man. So, it is what it is, man. Jamel, keep your head up. I know you was emotional at the uh, the post-fight uh, uh, conference or whatever. And I would, I would be too. I'd be totally upset. You know, so when that rematch happens, do what you got to do, man. And get that victory, and hopefully you and her can uh, tie it up, man. But who knows? Who knows? I know he still called out her and everybody else for the title after the fight, man. He had a good, he was in good spirits. But you know, he, he did better than me because I, there's no damn way I would have. Man, I probably would have kept my cools, man. I would have been upset as hell, man. So, anyway, it's K Black in the building. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Shout out to the whole LDBC boxers fight right now. Don't wait. Because as long as you wait, bullshit like this can happen.